going on everybody? Enzo here from Enzo's Geckos. In this video, we're going to be feeding every single gecko that I have currently. So all my breeders and my Eublephrus Hardwicky. I have right here some hornworms and these are great little snacks for the leopard geckos. They're just these crazy blue looking worms. I'm letting them grow out a little bit. I am going to feel a couple of those today, but we're also going to be feed some dubia roaches and mealworms to the geckos. It's also gecko cleaning day, which means that I haven't cleaned them in a week. They haven't gotten their food bills filled in a week. Some of them still have food, some of them have already eaten it, but that means that most likely they're going to be a little bit hungry, or at least if they're going to be hungry, today is going to be the day. So hopefully we're going to get some good feeding responses and most of the geckos will be eating. So I'll show you guys this. I've been waiting to make a video like this for so long. Finally, we're going to do it. Also, if you guys see the Dodgers hat, uh, this is for John Byer because I know John is a uh, is an LA Dodgers fan, so I'm wearing this for you, John. There it is, buddy. There you go. Nice job. Come on. I swear it's a dubia. There you go. Good job. I think he wants another. Definitely looks hungry. There it is. Oh, he definitely wants it. There you go. Good job, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go, come on. Good job. Good job. Another dubia. Oh, nice job. Very well done. Good job. That was easy. All right, one more maybe. Oh yeah, you're gonna get it, come on. Great job. Good job. I'm gonna feed the mealworms now, put them in the bins, let them sit there. I'll see if uh, any of the geckos will start eating them. I haven't fed my geckos off of little uh, tweezers or tongs or whatever. Um, before so this was actually pretty new for me doing that usually I just like to feed mealworms or dubias in their bowls instead of uh, I, uh, Hand feed them or whatever it's called um, But yeah, so I did get some new uh, new things to feed them with because these little tweezers are just not good enough for grabbing dubias so uh, We're gonna be feeding uh, doing a lot more feeding videos in the future I'm gonna start breeding my own uh, dubias so I can also just do uh, dubia feeding videos also I'm really excited about that and uh, yeah, so we're gonna Get the mealworms in all their bins really quick, and then I'll update you guys. All these mealworms are gut-loaded. They've already eaten a bunch of wheat bran, and as you can see, they're finishing off the last carrot. But just got plenty of these guys in from rainbow mealworms. So we're going to get all those into the bowls of the leopard geckos. Starting off with the hard wiki. As you can see, I left a doobie in there that she did not want to eat, so I just usually like to get some mealworms and kind of get the wheat bran off of them before tossing them in. So that's a pretty good amount to give her. Um, usually I check in and I'll feed her some more throughout the week, but uh, I don't want to put any that, that are going to go to waste, so I can always um, check in later. A bunch of food bowls ready to go. I just kind of get the mealworms out, 
put them in here. This one has a doobie in it too, so they're going to have a little something else to eat, a little snack. All right, I just gave all the feeders some calcium right here. So there's some with dubias, there's some that don't have any. And then also I gave uh, the mealworm some extra carrots. So now they're all ready to go. Looks like someone's actually interested in the uh, the mealworms out of the corner of her eye. But she's got plenty right there. So I'm gonna put these in here, let them eat. Now we're just gonna put all these into there and uh, all the geckos will be fed. Just put some Eco Earth in the Hard Wiki Girls little uh, human hide. I thought that would change it up a little bit, but uh, other than that, uh, everything is done. All the geckos have all the food they need. They already uh, ate from uh, ate some dubias. Some ate some hornworms. I'm saving the rest of the hornworms. Apparently, if you just put them upside down and let them chill for a couple of days, um, they just grow like crazy. So, um, and also I'm uh, putting them right between here, so then there is good ventilation because that's super important for hornworms. They need that ventilation. And I'm just gonna keep them at room temp pretty much. But uh, other than that, we're all done now. All the geckos are fed. Next mass feeding video I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna be feeding a bunch of the hatchlings. Um, so that'll probably be out in a month or two once we get a bunch going and once we get the dubia breeding going. So, so far, dubias are gonna start breeding. We're gonna get some mealworms breeding. We're gonna have all that so I can do a huge feeding video. It should look really good and I'm really excited to see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, about feeding the leopard geckos. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.